Hello, in this one I'm going to be showing you how to consume uh, APIs in ERP Next. So I'm going to be writing a, a custom file here in my patient uh, doctor. If this is where I want to write my API, uh, I want to use the patient doctor. Type, but he, you can write this file, you can put this file basically anywhere including on your apps, your app uh, directory here. But because I, I, I'm working with this doc type only, I just want to write a file here. So create a new file and call it api.py. I want to save it, so save the file. And I'm not able to save that because I don't have permissions. So I can just come here and go to and go to change directory to ERP. Where am I? Let me just check where I am. So change directory to apps and then to ERP and then another ERP next and then to healthcare and then to doc type and then to the patient doc type and when you release this you will see that I do not have any API file here so I can just say touch and maybe I can just do sudo touch api.py and I have my file so if I list now I have an api.py file there so Coming back here, just remove this without saving. I have my api.file. So the first thing to do here is to import, import, uh, import Frappe. And then I'm going to write my function. So I'm just going to say define a function. I'm going to, to call get patient, get the patient details. You can call it whatever you want to call it and this one. I'm going to pass in the patient, the patient ID, and then here I'm going to just say return, um, return frappe. And before I, I I I return this, let me let me show you how I'm going to get this content. So I'll go back to my OPT, then bench, then ERP. This is the director of my app, and here I can just say bench uh, Maria DB. Good, and then you can say select. Uh, I just want to select the first name uh, from the table is tab patient, and then I'm going to put a where condition here. And if I go to my SQL of my of my app, this is the table name. And here I just want to put one 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 parameter that you can use that you can use here but this this just to demo this example so you 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 can do basically anything you can pass in the patient id you can pass in whatever you want to pass here but i just want to pass in the owner because i can see the patients here with the owner of administrator so i'll, I'll just say where owner equals equals the administrator okay so when i do that i can see that i have three patients there so i i only grab the first name let me pick this query this is what we'll be needing and i can just exit from there and then so here i can run this i can i i can run the same thing but remember basically here you can put in whatever uh, logic you want to put into into this section so i'll say return frappe.db.sql and then uh, this is dot dot uh, sql and then here i'm going to do you can do a formatted string that is if of course because you will be passing this patient id dynamically so uh, this is three four five six make sure you have six of them here and then paste this this other one I have pasted what we wrote on the on the command here, on the terminal here, and then I want to return this thing as a Python dictionary. So just say as dict equals true, all right. So when that is done, I am now ready. Let me just allow this to save. I have saved my file, and now I am ready to consume this uh, this this API. So how will how I will do that? How I'll do that, I'll come to my browser and then how we access this is through you put in, if you go to Frappe documentation, you'll see that you put in the your base URL and then API and method and then your app 
and then the doc type and the doc type and then the uh, th this is the module and then the doc type is patient and then you put in your file so this is my file and this is the function inside of that file so my function is get patient details let me just copy that and paste here to confirm and not reachable because bench is not uh, running so let me bench start there quickly and then now i can reload here and it is accessing our method successfully but it is thing that we do not have permissions to do that reason being in frappe if you want to access these things through api you have to whitelist them so we need to say frappe dot whitelist here so i whitelist our our method okay and then when we refresh oh no i clicked go home when we refresh this now we get another error here but telling us that patient details is missing one required parameter and we can just come here and say allow it to accept none so allow it to save again and go back and refresh and there we go so we have our first name jeffrey and kevin and steve very good so it is running on the browser but now we want to consume this api through an uh, 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 an application like uh like postman so how do we do that let me just clear this this is what i was using to test so how we get that to work on postman is we are going to use exactly the same the same uh the same the same url here so let me paste it on the url section and then i try to access it this doesn't work and the reason why it doesn't work if you come to preview here is telling you that you do not have permissions to do this this is because Europeanist, I, I, I um, expects you to pass in some headers here. And the header you are supposed to pass in as an authorization, uh, it's a token. And where I'm getting this is from the documentation here. You can see that we have two types of authorization. We have token-based and we have password-based. We are going to be using token-based in this tutorial. So we have authorization, which is a token. And then we, concat we, we concatenate the... Uh, not concatenate but we get the token by joining the api key and the api secret so where we are going to do to get this go to the user user section of your app i want to use the administrator and then scroll down to where you see api access and then here i had already generated this but you can just generate others just gen click on generate uh, keys and this one gives me the secret so i can just copy the secret uh come with it so this is supposed to be token that is the secret if you come to the documentation you see that we are told to give the token colon the secret so back here we have the secret and then we just copy the token this is the key sorry the key and then the secret so go back to your postman and paste it there so we have that if we push that one more time we get our data if we view the pretty one here we go so we have the message and the first name uh kevin steve and Geoffrey. if we wanted to get all the data of course we can just come to a method here and instead of getting that we just add an asterisk or you can get whatever you want then i can save that and then when i go to my token uh, to my uh, postman send i get everything so we have message name joffrey all that detail and then we have kevin with all that detail and then we have steve with all that detail so that that's how you do it in erp next thanks you so much for watching and see you in the next one